I'm an ace on the river, not playing cards. Alcohol and reefer, that's my A&R. Now I'm flyer. Hey guys, me, Pure Redfish here. Today with another video, I'll be teaching you guys a new money glitch in GTA 5 Online today. Um, but the reason I haven't been posting lately is because I haven't really been motivated to do YouTube videos or anything like that. Uh, I kind of took a break off because I do have big tests at the moment that I am uh, doing in school. But uh, I will be showing you guys this new glitch and I figured you guys would need a new glitch or a new money glitch that is actually updated uh, and that you can do by yourself. So that's what I will be showing you guys today in GTA 5 Online. Now the first step is really easy. All you have to do is go into your garage and take out any random vehicle uh, I recommend the most expensive one so you get the most money for this glitch then all you have to do is take it out and look for a random car on the street now uh, after doing this glitch like a few times you should get it down very easily once you find that random car off the street, all you have to do is get out of your car, leave it anywhere near the random vehicle that you're about to get in, get in that random vehicle, drive it up to your garage, and uh, make sure it's full when you're driving it up to your garage, so you see that notification right there, and uh, all you have to do is press A when you see that notification, and when you get into the garage, replace the vehicle that you brought outside in the beginning, so as you can see, I'm going to replace the Turismo R, and as soon as you do that with the random car off the street, uh, all you have to do is walk outside of your garage and get back into your personal vehicle. Now, uh, as you can see, it's still says it's my personal vehicle even though I just replaced it and all you have to do is get in and uh, as you can see here you get in drive it back up to your apartment or your garage and then uh, once again it should be full and uh, all you have to do is uh, once you see the garage full uh, like little notification on screen uh, you have to press B and A at the same exact time so your car will disappear and uh, once that happens all you have to do is drive a certain distance away until your car respawns as you can see here then what you're gonna want to do is actually go way back all the way over to your apartment once again get out of your car once you park it right in front then walk into your garage now as you can see here once you are in the garage if you did the glitch right you will see replace vehicle All you have to do is replace the vehicle that you got out in the beginning or any other vehicle in your garage It doesn't really matter But as you can see I replace a vehicle and once you are outside the garage the car that you actually started the glitch with should actually still be there uh, As you can see it is and all you have to do from here is actually drive it straight into your garage now once you drive it into your garage, all you have to do is replace a vehicle, it doesn't really matter, just replace any other vehicle but the vehicle that you uh, replaced a little while ago or before this step. And then all you have to do is get into it, go up to the uh, phone and then go to the internet, go to the travel and transport little uh, option there. All you have to do is go to the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website, find the Karen Rebel and go over to choose color on the color selection rack or whatever uh, and then choose buy. Once you choose buy, you have to replace the vehicle that you are in at the moment so make sure you click the right one and as soon as you replace that vehicle you have to press RT or accelerate on your controller now the screen should like fade away and you should leave your garage once you do leave the garage or once you teleport outside or once the animation is done or whatever you want to call it you have to drive your car immediately right back into the garage as you can see I am doing right now Now, once you're inside, all you have to do is uh, get out if your car does not disappear. Mine just did for some reason. I don't know if that's supposed to happen every time. But as you can see, my car did disappear. And once that happens, all you have to do is leave the garage immediately after. Now, once you're outside, all you have to do is wait for the notification that your Rebel is actually delivered, as you can see here. And as soon as you see that notification, just run back into your garage. Now, as you can see here, I am going into my garage. The little animation is done. And uh, as you can see, the Rebel is not there. My duplicated car is there, though, which is actually very nice, as you can see. And now what you can do from here is actually go get in the car, leave your garage, and go sell it for a decent amount of money. Uh, as you can see here, I will be doing that right now. And uh, yeah, that's really about it for this glitch. It's very simple. And uh, once you do it a few times, you can do it without even watching anyone else's video or mine. And uh, yeah, it's very, very easy. So as you guys may or may not know, I'm actually working on a Q&A and a face reveal at the same time or in the same video. Um, I'm working on that at this moment and it should be up uh, in uh, like a few hours after this video is up or something like that. I don't know yet, uh, but it should be up soon. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. But that's really it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.